Bikes are great, but believe it or not, they come in some very crazy forms you couldn't even think of. From flying bikes to bikes that can cross rivers, here are the 30 craziest bikes you won't believe exist. Amazing. Tallest Bike Richie Trimble built the tallest bike in the world at a towering 6.15 meters. The bicycle is named Stupid Taller, an appropriate name for such a toy because it looks like the most unsafe and uncomfortable bike to ride. Not only do you need a ladder to get to the top, but you also need to make sure you don't fall off because it's a long ways down. Back-to-back -back Tandem Bike You've probably seen tandem bikes before, but have you seen one where the riders are facing back-to-back? -back? In an old 2006 YouTube video, we see two tandem bikers in the opposite direction. The custom-made bike was created as an experiment, and maybe the purpose of it is so they can see in both directions. Nonetheless, it looks ridiculous. House on a Bike Kevin Sear made this camper bike while working in Beijing after realizing that nearly everything is carried around on bikes in this city besides houses. After drawing up designs and working for over three years, he finally finished what he describes as a not-so-comfortable home. The contraption is extremely heavy and sleeping in it is just impractical. However, it does make for a cool piece of gear and it will turn heads. Bike on Water A New Zealand brand called Manta 5 developed a new type of water vehicle in which people can skim across the water. Unlike other water bicycles, this allows users to generate electricity while pedaling, which allows them to swiftly maneuver across waters using a propeller and electrical technology. The only downside is that it's going to cost you a staggering $8,000 to use this bad boy. Loop the Loop Bike By attaching a rounded metal from on top of the bike frame itself, you could do a full loop the loop. Simply hold the brakes down hard after gaining some speed, and all of a sudden you'll be upside down, back upright, then upside down again. That's pretty much the only function of this bicycle. Spider Bike Metro Diverse Services created this monstrosity for pure entertainment. This entirely metal-framed, eight-legged bike is absolutely inefficient to ride, but it sure does look fun to ride. With a huge battery attached to it, you're going to need two riders, one to operate each side, if you want to attempt to ride this thing. Floating Bike What if you could take your bike and ride it across a river? Well, with Judah Schiller's Bay Cycle, you actually can. This man invented an attachment that allows you to take your bike and turn it into a makeshift water bike. The entire thing fit into a backpack and only takes 15 minutes to set up but some people might prefer to take the longer route than risk getting wet. Longest Bike The world record for the longest rideable bike belongs to a cycling organization in the Netherlands called the Mils van Meers Workplog. It measures at 35.79 meters long and is built using aluminum trusses and has no stabilizers. One person has to be in front in order to steer and another in the back to pedal. Quiggle a startup company put their unique idea of a bike on Kickstarter and it blew up. Known as the Quiggle Bike, this two-wheeled machine can be folded down to a carry, making it the lightest and most compact bike on the market. Although oddly shaped, it is a lot more comfortable to ride than it seems. What's uncomfortable is its hefty $1,580 price tag. Flying Bike Explore Air designed the world's first flying bicycle that can also be used as a regular bicycle. At first glance, it seems like a death machine, but it's actually quite safe. Their idea is that you can use it to fly wherever you need to, then bike the last commute. It's a pretty smart idea. The only issue would be obvious safety reasons. Bicymbol The Bicymbol was invented by Josh Bechtel, and as its name suggests, it's the simplest version of a bike. There's no chain, and there aren't any fancy features or accessories. With minimalism becoming more and more popular each day, it's no surprise such a bike exists. But its two tires being inches apart makes it look very silly. Sideways Bike This sideways bicycle might be one of the weirdest bikes you'll see. Also dubbed the snowboard bike, the rider is literally sideways as if they're on a snowboard. It does look pretty cool, but the fact of the matter is even the rider in this video is struggling to keep the bike straight. You won't be seeing these anytime soon on the streets. First bike ever invented. 
Nowadays, we take for granted all the various types of bikes, but in 1817 in Germany, the first bike ever was presented. Baron Karl von Dera showed the public his horse-like contraption that confused many people at first, but everyone was impressed when they said it was able to travel 14 kilometers in less than an hour. Of course, it had its flaws, but it paved the path for all the bikes of the future. Bamboo Bike In some parts of Africa, resources are limited and or expensive, so many people make do with what they have. In this case, creating a bicycle frame entirely out of bamboo, including the spokes of the back wheel, was a solution. Because bamboo is able to grow so fast, and it being very sturdy, it actually makes for the perfect material. Hula Hoop Bike As its name suggests, the hula hoop bike literally looks like you could pick it up and swing it around your waist. However, its singular wheel design makes for a cool looking ride. Although it does look a lot more respectable to ride than its cousin the unicycle, in terms of practicality, a two-wheeler will always win. Varna Tempest What if you could travel 83 miles per hour on a bicycle? Well, Sam Whittingham did it on a specifically designed bike called the Varna Tempest. Using only leg power and a flat long road, he was able to bring the perfectly aerodynamic designed bike to a world record breaking 83 miles per hour. K Track Snow Bike The K Track Snow Bike system allows people to ride their bikes through deep snow. With a unique rear wheel and front ski attachment, the two go hand in hand, making the system perfect to combat snowy terrains. It would be good for people who live in snowy areas or those who simply want to go biking in the snow, but to the average person, they probably won't be needing it. The World's Most Expensive Bike The world's most expensive bike was designed by Damien Hurst, and he decided to decorate the bicycle rims and frames with real-life butterfly wings. To make the bike even more unique and valuable, Lance Armstrong actually used it in the 2009 Tour de France. Later, at a charity auction, the butterfly bike went for a staggering $500,000. However, many people deem the use of real butterfly wings as an animal hate crime. Before I reveal the next example, you should subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated, or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Bike made of gold. Bike theft is a big issue in many places, but if you had a bike made from gold and Swarovski crystals, you're just asking for it to be stolen. A French company named Aromania built this gold-plated bike, which is valued at $114,000. Even its seat and handles are made from the highest quality leather, making it quite a luxurious bike. Elliptigo If you've ever been to a gym, you've probably seen people burning calories on the elliptical machines or the bicycle machines. So why not combine the two? That's where Elliptigo comes in. Instead of pedals to move the bike, Users move their legs on elliptical steps to go forward. You might get some stairs, but that's the consequence if you want to actually go somewhere with an elliptical. Renovation. If you look out on the streets, chances are you'll see that every single bike is made out of aluminum or some other type of material. What makes Jen Eichler's bike so special is that the entire frame is beautifully handcrafted out of a beech tree. Not only that, it's a tandem bike, so two people can admire the beauty of this thing. You might not even want to ride it on the off chance you might scuff the wood. Crazy Boot Bike Looking at this monster just makes you scratch your head and question who created such a crazy bike. Instead of traditional wheels, the spokes are fitted with boots. Yes, boots. Even though it could be a conversation starter, there is no way anyone is actually riding that thing. Well, at least you won't get punctures. Monster Wheel Bike Chances are you've seen a penny farthing those bikes with a giant front wheel, followed by its smaller counterpart. But you definitely haven't seen this monster wheel bike. Instead of a thin large wheel like the penny farthing, a literal monster truck wheel takes its spot. With some matching tires in the back and a giant headlamp in the front, the bike just looks ridiculous and totally impractical. Hallbrad Half Bike Felix Kruschkart and his team have found a way to keep the functionality of a bike in only half its size. They did this by designing it so the handlebars are behind your seat instead of in front, making steering a bit awkward. With the help of smaller wheels and gear, the bike looks even smaller than half a bike, which is what Hallbrand means in German. Flizz Bike This bike runs on manpower, 
It harnesses riders into its frame while they sort of self-propel themselves in this weird-looking two-wheeled mechanism. There really isn't any practicality to this bike, unless you want people to look at you. Spring Bike Imagine if a pogo stick and a bicycle had a baby. The result would be this spring bike that YouTuber Colin Furs created for fun. The frame is nearly entirely replaced with springs, making it able to absorb any type of bump or crash. However, it might be a bit difficult to ride, given the fact that these springs are flexible and move a lot. Forkless Cruiser If you saw this thing riding around on the sidewalk, you might do a double take because the forkless cruiser is literally missing one of the most important parts of a bike. Ali Erkila designed this bike as simply an art piece though, which makes a lot more sense because its steering mechanism is still confusing me. Radiator Bike The phrase one man's junk is another man's treasure is clear in this bike design. Found in Holland, a place where bikes are extremely common, this radiator bike surely stands out. The main part of its frame is made from an old radiator that seems to have been repainted to a bright attractive red. It may work, but it sure doesn't look comfortable to sit on. Nistarkia Created in India, this electric bicycle has the most ergonomic riding position out of any bike mentioned. Similar to how motorcycle racers position their bodies during races, Nistarkia's design emulates this sensation to make riders more aerodynamic. It contains shock absorbers and three 36-volt batteries to make sure it's fast and as comfortable as possible. Bendable Bike with bike theft being an evident problem in major cities, Kevin Scott from Britain designed a bendable bike that is able to lock with itself. Oftentimes, people forget locks or simply don't buy one, but with the bendable bike, you already have one built in. Simply pull a lever to make it bendy, then pull it again to make it rigid. Which bike did you think was the craziest? And would you consider buying any of these bicycles? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.